Now, Uganda's cancer patients can finally breathe a sigh of relief after the country got a new cobalt-60 radiation treatment machine. But health officials say this may not be enough due to an ever-increasing number of cancer cases in the country. Halima Atumani reports from Kampala. More cancer patients will now be able to receive radiation cancer treatment thanks to the installation of a new teletherapy machine. The old machine broke down in March 2016, leaving Uganda without that type of cancer therapy. Uganda and the International Atomic Energy Agency each contributed half of the over 812,000 U.S. dollars cost of the machine. Dr. Rem Jackson, the director of the Uganda Cancer Institute, notes that every year for the last few years, there has been an increase in the number of new cancer cases. The Cancer Institute has registered more than 7,000 new cases and the revisits are between 34,000 to 37,000 cases. So that means we still have very high mortality and this is contributed to mainly because our patients come late when their disease is advanced. With a population of 40 million, Uganda would need 40 machines to meet the international standard of treatment for its people. Dr. Ruth Cheng, Uganda's Minister for Health, notes that there is still a lot that needs to be done to meet the treatment demand. Currently, we are capable of treating about 80 patients per day. However, one machine is not adequate. Hence, the need to fast track the next phase of our response to the crisis, and that is the modernization and expansion of radiotherapy services. The restoration of radiotherapy services and installation of the new Cobalt 60 radiation treatment machine came only after Uganda got clearance from the International Atomic Energy Agency. Yukia Amano, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, says in 2009 when he took office, the cancer situation in Africa was worrying, with 28 countries lacking cancer machines. The IAEA has expertise in cancer equipment and training and safety. We are working with the WHO in close cooperation to provide better service to countries. The Cobalt 60 machine is expected to treat its first cancer patient by April. Halima Athmani for VOA News, Kampala.